Hi, my name is Merit Broham. I'm an associate professor at DTU Environment. I'm here to introduce to you our, field, uh, our course in field investigations of contaminated sites. Uh, the course runs in June, and it's a natural successor to our contaminated sites course, um, if you followed that. Then the course, we plan field investigations, uh, which means we uh, collect historical information and information about the contaminants. And uh, we uh, introduce to you investigative tools and techniques that you can apply at the sites. Uh, we also have consulting engineers come and uh, present to you the former results from uh, the sites. Uh, we have two contaminated sites, the Glostrop and the Neom sites, and they're both contaminated with chlorinated solvents. The first site has more of a traditional investigative techniques uh, applied to it, uh, but also here we look at some remedial techniques. At the NAOM site, we have more of a research-oriented instrumentation of the site, and here we look at new investigative tools and we do more risk assessment. In the course, we sample uh, soil by geoprobe coring and hand augering, and we collect tree cores and soil gas. Um, we both have flux chambers and poor air sampling uh, at the sites. We also do groundwater sampling at both sites, and we do it by different techniques, uh, uh, more uh, traditional and more new uh, techniques. And also we can look at groundwater flow, so we do surveying, groundwater potential mapping, uh, we measure hydraulic conductivity, and we have flux transects at one of the sites that we can look at. Also we do on-site analysis of our uh, field samples. Finally, the students in the um, class will analyze their field and laboratory data. And here you apply your knowledge from the contaminated sites course, if you followed it. And uh, you do the analysis by presenting your results to the other groups, uh, by integrating the data from the other groups with your own data, looking at a conceptual understanding of the two sites with contaminant distribution and delineation, also look at flux determinations and risk assessment and do some assessment of uh, the remediation conducted at the sites. Finally, you write reports. As for perspectives of this, this course prepares the students for their MSc and PhD theses work if it's uh, conducted in the field. And it also prepares the students for uh, subsequent jobs in consulting engineering and in the regions. So if you would like to do this, then come and join us in June.